So uh, you can see that this output is in a traditional hydron format, just like we asked it. And uh, I will quickly show you uh, where the uh, different parameters are in this file. So the first two fields are molecule number. The next field is a azotopolog number within the molecule. This is a line position. This is the intensity of the line at 296 Kelvin. This is the Einstein A coefficient. This is a, a broadened half width. This is a self broadened half width. This is a lower state energy. This is a temperature dependence exponent for the air broadened half width. This is a air induced line shift. Now these 15 fields are vibrational quantum numbers to describe the upper vibrational state of a molecule. And uh, you can see that for every molecule, this description is different because the symmetry of the molecules are different. And one has to consult the hydron papers to understand how to read this. Now the next uh, 15 fields are lower state vibrational quanta. And then we have uh, upper state and um, lower state rotational quanta, also 15 fields each. And uh, again, you will have to consult the hydrant paper to see how to read it for uh, every different molecule. So you can see that the CO2 quantum notations are quite different from those uh, of the water vapor for both vibrations and rotations. Now, the next six digits, uh, we have uh, the uncertainties of which parameters. This is uncertainty of the line position, uh, uncertainty of the line intensity, uncertainty of the air broadened half widths, uncertainty of self broadened half widths, uncertainty in the temperature dependence of air broadened half widths, and uncertainty in the line shift. Now, the next 12 feeds uh, of two fields each are reference codes, and the mapping uh, is provided uh, in the reference when you uh, re reference codes when you ask for them uh, in a uh, previous page. So this is a reference for the line position. This is a reference for line intensity. These are references for uh, air broadened half widths. References for self broadened half widths. Reference for the uh, the temperature dependence of air broadened half widths, and uh, these are reference for air induced shifts. So the next numbers are upper state and lower state statistical weights uh, for every transition. Uh, I already showed you some nice features that uh, uh, affiliated with the references. Uh, apart from those hovering mouse of the, the parameter, uh, you do get an HTML table of the references and their mappings uh, to the uh, ASCII file. You also get a BibTeX file. So if you write a paper where you use Hytron data, and uh, uh, we do appreciate if you cite not only the uh, Hydrant paper, but also the original references uh, in the spectral region of your interest. And uh, we do provide a very convenient tool for that, so all the uh, uh, references that I used here do uh, have the corresponding BibTeX entries. And uh, the README shows you explanation of an output format, so this is uh, easy for you to uh, look which parameters are in the file. I also wanted to show you how to do select by band and uh, again I strongly recommend uh, to uh, exercise caution when you use this feature. So in order to be able to select by band you have to 
make sure that the corresponding field is selected in your uh, preference settings. Now let's select uh, one, uh, of course select by band works on the for one isotope lock per molecule. And uh, let's just do CO for simplicity. And uh, we'll select one isotope lock. So you can see that uh, when you select just one isotope lock of one molecule, the new field appears, which is called select vibrational bands. And uh, I can uh, say which band do I want to pick. So for instance, I can pick the fundamental band, the first overtone, second overtone, and third overtone. And uh, the query will be given to me if I select uh, the hydron, uh, traditional hydron uh, output. The system will give me uh, the bands I specifically asked for. And uh, indeed, you can see that this is 1, 0, 2, 0, 3, 0, and 4, 0 uh, vibrational bands. Now, in this particular case, why I recommend you to be careful about this because uh, these are not the only bands that are uh, absorbing in the in these regions. For instance, uh, in the region of the fundamental, there is a 2-1 hot band uh, that uh, also absorbs there uh, even at uh, uh, terrestrial temperatures. So when you pick only one band, you have to be mindful it may not be necessarily the only absorber corresponding to this as a top look uh, no, not only absorbing uh, band in this uh, uh, for this as a top look so uh, I, I will just quickly demonstrate that if you select a large file uh, you will not get the uh, HTML table but you will just get there so I just uh, select the entire um, carbon monoxide with no spectral region uh, limitation. So and you will not get that HTML table here. So one has to be mindful uh, of that. So uh, I think uh, with this, uh, I will conclude the uh, first tutorial about the use of the line by line section. And the next tutorial, I will explain how to create custom format and uh, to uh, get the parameters that are beyond traditional uh, Hydron format. Uh, so thank you for your attention.